All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter account has just announced the next Zenkai unit will have access to in the game. And this is actually one that doesn't come as any surprise whatsoever. They've alluded within the new section of the game of this unit potentially getting the Zenkai Awakening. And now this is the ultimate confirmation. Yes, the LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the next unit to get the Zenkai Awakening. And what's be uh, best is that you guys will be able to get this unit for free. You guys can actually get this unit for free because I believe there's like some event that's either like uh, happening now or that's happening soon that will allow you to get Z powers for this uh, unit, which is great. So that means that all of you guys will have access to this Goku. Really, really good thing. But anyway, let's break down what the post says. It says Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Zenkai Awakening is coming. Combo into Strike, Blast, or Ultimate from Special Arts. Plus, get minus 20% damage taken plus 50% key recovery, and nullify downgrades and conditions for the first 30 timer counts by unlocking all his unique abilities. Okay, so first things first, his special skill card, you can now combo from that, which is always a good thing, right? Like I, I will forever say that it is always a good thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a blast, wasn't it? it it's been a very, very long while since I've used this Goku. I just remember that when you use his special, uh, special skill, you weren't able to really follow up, but now you can, which is always, always a good thing. But obviously be careful because there's a lot of units with cover change. Anyway, plus, or no, sorry. Uh, you get minus 20% damage taken, which is again, a really good thing. Being able to mitigate that type of damage is always great. Plus 50 to key recovery, which is also good because well, having key, but then the battle is great. And of course, nullify downgrades and conditions for the first 30 timer counts okay so from what they're saying if you're going to try to utilize this goku to the fullest right it seems like you're gonna have to use this goku first and foremost in battle right again because it says for the first 30 timer counts you uh, have the ability to you know nullify uh, downgrades and conditions and all the other stuff right so it makes sense to have him, I guess, in the forefront for 30 timer counts or for however long you can have him up there for. And then, of course, after 30 timer counts, probably take him out, save him for the end, right? Because don't forget that this Goku also has cover vanish. So anybody using Rising Rush or if you're if a unit that you have on your team is about to die, and you really need to keep them alive. This Goku will get them out of the way. So you want to make sure that you use him at the beginning but then you also keep them along the ride for you know the back end to be able to dodge uh you know critical attacks that could be detrimental towards your team but even so this goku actually doesn't sound broken if you guys see where i'm coming from it's good that he's getting buffed and i'm pretty sure that there's more stuff as well that we don't know about until we actually get our hands on you know the zenkai awakening but this Goku actually doesn't sound broken. I mean, he's definitely not no Gogeta. He's definitely not Gohan. He's definitely not 18. Because <laughs> if he was on any of those tiers, literally, God forbid, if he was on Gohan tier, Sun Family would be the definitive team. Because again, Zenkai Gohan is the best unit in the game, bar none. Like, no other unit comes close, right? And then you have this Goku that would even be comparable to that type of power would be scary. It, not even just like Gohan. Like if this Goku was like comparable to 18 or Gogeta, like, and that's like super bare minimum. Some family would be the ultimate definitive team because it would have two unbelievably strong powerhouses. So obviously this Goku is not like that. So it's going to be good to see like what this Goku can actually do in game. It's going to be interesting, too, because it's been a very long time since I've seen anybody use this Goku. Like when he first came out, he was really good. His uh, ultimate tag dealt crazy damage, but it's obviously a power creep happened and whatnot. And of course, Zenkai Awakening just it, it made him fall slowly but surely into like irrelevance. But now they're bringing him back and I'm actually excited to see what he can do. But that's pretty much it but i do want to know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below i do know how you guys feel about zenkai units in a general retrospect but uh you know those feelings aside though are you guys actually happy that not only 
you know, this Goku getting a Zenkai Awakening for all of us to be able to utilize, but also the fact of this Goku becoming practically, not even practically, is becoming free to play for you guys to obtain. Again, let me know what you guys think about all that in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.